bottom bin on the floor, so you get out of the way. You see I've pre-marked the holes on the bottom. This is going to allow the tea to drink, drain from the top container down to the bottom container. We've marked holes on the side. This is going to allow for ventilation that your worms need. these holes in the bottom. Very easy. Now you want to make sure that you get the holes all the way around the container so that you don't wind up with pools of where the tea won't drain from the top bend to the bottom bend. Uh, bad tea can actually harm your worms. And the same thing for the ventilation holes on the side. Going all the way around, probably about two inches from the top of the container is fine for the ventilation. All right, we've drilled the holes now. We're going to pick the top bend back up. This is where you use the terracotta container. Remember, it's only supporting the weight of the worm bed, so you put it around the middle top back on and you're done. When you want to drain the tea, you quite simply lift the worm bed off and drain your tea. You can also put a spigot in the bottom, but a spigot has potential for leaking, so it's not one of my problems. To make the worm bed, we've got the shredded paper, the cocoa, and the kitchen scraps. You just fill container up with your cocoa, add your shredded paper and your kitchen scraps, you can kind of mix them up. If you're putting this in your house, I would recommend burying your scraps. This will help reduce the flies that come because of the compost. Now we can fill the bed if you already have your worm bed going. You can transfer the worms from your original bed into the new bed. Or if you're purchasing your worms, you just simply add them from the bag. You see we've got a pile of really good compost going here. Here's one of my little guys. Very happy. I just kind of put them in the new bedding. you're done.